YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> What's up, you guys? This is James here at Unique Perspectives. I'm with my boy Raymond, my uh, brother. How you doing, YouTube? <laughs> I'm Thresso Mac on YouTube. T R E S O M A C K for all of my slow people. T R E S O M A C K. I'm starting a series, shooting the breeze with Thresso Mac, where we have these different conversations. We shooting the breeze with Thresso Mac and Unique Perspectives right now. There we go. There we go. So we're in Long Beach, and I don't know if you guys can hear a little of the ruckus in the background. We at the park. We're in the ghetto. <laughs> okay. We're in the ghetto. <laughs> just being straight to it. But yeah, we're basically the ghetto, man. It's just uh, really good just to get another video in. Basically, I'm uh, yeah talking with my brother, and we were just talking about do we believe people of color are oppressed in you know the United States and stuff like that. Now, I actually have a different take than my brother does. You know, what obviously. Are your thoughts, people. What okay. are your thoughts, people. Yeah, now, now, obviously, you know, and some of you can see I have the police flag actually on my sweater. So obviously, I'm a proud patriot. I'm a conservative. I, I don't really believe that black people are oppressed. But sometimes I talk to my brother, and he has a different take on that. Uh, I to mean, a degree, I feel like it's a very tricky thing. I feel like we are an oppressed group of people. But when I say that, I don't mean to say that and run with it in a victim mentality type of way. It is the truth. Okay, but okay, okay. I'm a huge fan of overcoming. Okay, okay. I, I, I like thing. that. I like that. I like that. Overcoming. I like that. Yeah, no, actually, actually, one of the things that we always touch on is the fact that, uh, yeah, we just, uh, we're in a place where I do believe that the black man can have a nice house, have a nice career, have a nice lifestyle, have a nice car, you know, if we just work for it, you know. And, uh, yeah, but I know that sometimes I'm talking to my brother and he, he does feel that sometimes people in the black and brown community, we have to work a little harder to... Yeah. To get, uh, you know. 10, right? 15, and 25 times what? What? Not just, not just harder. What? We have to try a lot harder. And when I say that, I don't mean to say this in a way of let's be sad about it. This is the truth. This is the truth. So let's try 10 and 15 times harder, people, before we just be so sad. Things are hard, but they're obtainable, people. Now, one of the things I did bring up to my brother is he has uh, read the book of Dr. Ben Carson, somebody that grew up in poverty, didn't really have a lot going on for himself, but he worked hard. And now he's one of the greatest, you know, brain surgeons in the world, you know, and black conservative, somebody who, you know, loves the Lord and stuff like that. And so I do believe, like, you know, even Obama, even though I'm not uh, excited about his policies and all this other stuff and his philosophies, and, but he is also an example of a black man overcoming and a black man that you know was Amer you know the president of the United States you know so part of me I kind of feel like you know I can see maybe some challenges within the the black community especially but yeah I think for the most part if we apply ourselves we can actually uh, do pretty good you know I mean uh, even Ben Carson in his story I still feel like if he was a Caucasian he wouldn't have had as much as a trial and tribulation but it's beauty in what he went through he went through that to show us that it is possible and not only him, there's a million other black African Americans, blacks, um, Hispanics, people of different races that are also considered oppressed that have made it. So there's a lot of hope for us, especially in this day and age right now. We could be as dark as we want. We can be ourselves. We could have the certain hairstyles that we want. Mm. There's now laws implemented that uh, they can't discriminate against our hairstyles. There's all type of stuff right now. Mm. It's still hard, but we can do it. People, it's obtainable. Well, yeah, and, and one of the things I, I I would like to focus on is even the fact that, you know, we have people like Kanye, Oprah, Jay-Z, Jordan, you know, that clearly demonstrate that, you know, if you put the work in, you can accomplish things. Now, I, I don't want to disregard what my brother's saying because I'm not blind to some of the challenges. You know, there are uh, times when there is some type of discrimination in certain environments, so I'm not going to... To, you know, throw that out. I, I know that exists, you know. And even within the black community, I have people I know that they look at people that are white Caucasian or Hispanic in, in a weird way or Asian, you know. So, uh, obviously there is discrimination amongst different groups. But, uh, yeah, I think for the most part, we're here in America and this is a place where if you want to build something, this is the place to do it. This is why most of the world's immigrants are trying to fight their way into this country, you know. Well, there's a lot of positive stories, too. There was a story I actually want to talk about here. Go for it. Go there was a guy it. from Mexico City. The guy, he came out here, I just recently mm -hmm. spoke to him. He was explaining to me his struggles with not even knowing the language. He didn't even know English when he came here. And he told me he learned English just by watching different television shows, shows that's right. different radio stations. And I bring this story up to say that it inspired me to actually get out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone is typically with my people, my African Americans, my Hispanics, people I grew up with immediately I'm comfortable with. But uh, now in the work environment, I'm around Caucasian people. I'm open to new things now. And I appreciate the opportunity. And I say this to say everybody things are a little bit harder for us but let's make this happen let's not be sad let's become a victory story 
yeah, yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that. And uh, and yeah, I will say that there's a lot of challenges in our community. And in my opinion, a lot of the challenges come from us. You know, now there are challenges that come from the outside, other communities as well. But I think a lot of the challenges we have, and I think my well, brother and I, I think we can accountability. agree. Let's take accountability. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's one thing I know we do agree on is, and we discuss this all the time is, uh, you know, sometimes we connect with people romantically that, you know, quite honestly, we know we don't have a few, we don't have the desire to have a future with, but we will sometimes complicate our own lives because of that situations or, you know, it could be mishandling money, you know, instead of investing or instead of buying a house or property, you know, we will squander it. This ain't the know. white man doing it to us. Yes, there was something put in system before we <laughs> uh -oh, was here. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And we don't know too much about it, but it was put here. But now we have this opportunity. We can teach ourselves. We can learn. There's so many different people that can counsel us. We can go find. So there's not no excuse. I don't say this to say there's an okay, excuse. Okay. We have so much hope, people. Let's keep our heads held high. Let's make sure we don't play victim. Let's take accountability for our negative actions and things we do to ourselves. That's self-destruction. Let's do better, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I that's what I appreciate about my brother and I when we discuss these things is we do understand that the whole self accountability thing that's that's significant we have to look in the mirror before we decide we want to judge or use somebody even as a scapegoat for our progress or non progress or whatever you know we want to always ask ourselves okay can, am I making the right decisions in life to move forward you know am I managing my money correctly my time correctly uh, the type of people I surround myself with you know I, I think it's important and like my brother said you know it, it, just the accountability of ourselves you know we can't just kind of blame everybody for everything like we have to take some responsibility on what's happening in our lives you know let's yeah. make better actions family let's take better actions family let's do better let's make better decisions and once we do that then let's look how how pressed we are after we do that that's something i'm doing in my own life because i was making a lot of wrong decisions me personally even 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 if it was maybe a system put in play i'm still saying we got to take accountability for the things we do to ourselves before we mm. blame anybody outside yeah 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 I'm, I'm i'm with that i'm with that and obviously you know uh i, I do feel like you know um the self-accountability thing. Once we get past that, you know, we take responsibility. We can truly progress through life and make, you know, make something of ourselves. You know, you have any final thoughts before we close? Final thoughts like is let's go get us some white man money, people. <laughs> let's go change our mentality, people. Yeah. Let's go. Now, people say this guy, he's talking Caucasian. He's talking white. Let's talk whiter, people. <laughs> let's make ourselves successful and let's stop playing victim all the time. Okay. Speaking for self, too. Let's do better, people. Got nothing but love for you. Follow me on YouTube at T-R-E-S-O-M-A-C-K. We'll, we'll be shooting the breeze. We'll be having different conversations. This is one of many we're going to be having. Absolutely. Take it easy, YouTube. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, God bless you guys. Like my brother said, all about self-accountability, and, and, and we shouldn't be allowing nothing to, uh, to stop us from our progress. Self-accountability. God bless you guys. People. Take care. Peace. Spend time with your family. All right. All right, take care, you guys. God bless you guys. And like and subscribe.